Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM SIF that is Services Integration Framework. In today's session, we will see a for, uh, another API called as Search Match API. So far, we have seen two read API that is Get API and Search Query API. There is one more read API that is called Search Match API. Let's see a little more about the search match API. The API names are search match request and search match response. Search match request is used to send the request to the MDM hub and search match response is used to get response from MDM hub. What are the characteristics of search match API? Search match API is used to do the fuzzy matching. Of course, once we get the fuzzy match, we can filter out that result by using the exact column. So specifically talking search match APIs you use for the fuzzy matching or getting the fuzzy result. It searches for the records in a package based on match columns and the rule definitions. It does not create match candidate candidates in the ORS. What does it mean? We know that for the match job we have the empty sage table we have the tokenization table that is strip table so whenever we use the search match api it does not populate the strip or empty sage table it it virtually create the tokens and using that token it searches in the existing record the value of fuzzy match key column must be specified to process a fuzzy match so what does it mean so let's go to the mdm hub so this is MDM hub and we have gone, uh, we can navigating through the model schema, then the party table and we have the match and merge setup. In the match and merge setup, if you go to the match column, one of the column must be fuzzy match key. So this fuzzy match key is required to be set in the match API, search match API, if you are going to do the fuzzy, fuzzy search. So that is the fuzzy match key column, which is required to set if you're expecting to have the result as a fuzzy. The search match API can either be called to use the full set of match columns that are specified or caller can constrain the search to a single rule set by specifying rules rule set. There is a method called as a set match rule set UID and we have to pass the rule set UID. So there are two things in this search match API. We can either use the full set of match columns. That means if you go to the MDM hub, if you go to the match rule set, suppose consider WS match rule set. It has the four match rules in this WS match rule set. So we can execute all of them, all of these match rule sets, or we can specify a particular match rule set and execute that so this is the comes so search match api can either be called to use the full set of match columns full set of match columns means we can use all of these match columns or we can use a particular match rule set match type it is very important and required attribute in the search match query there are three types of match type. First is ATO, second is both, and third is none. ATO means it search use if you are doing the search match using the rule set. And in that rule set, we have the both ATO as well as manual match. So if you see, ATO is S for one and two rule. Third and fourth rule is ATO is no. That means third and fourth rule are the manual match rules. So ATO, if you're using the rule set in your search match API, and if you're using the match type ATO, then it uses only ATO match rule set. If we do not specify the match rule set, then it, it uses the default match rule set. If you go to the MDM hub, so in this case, we have total four match rule set, IDD, RS, IDL, WS, and workflow. Out of this four match rule set, IDL is default match rule set. You can see 
it is aesthetic if you want to make ws as a default then you can just um we can edit it or oh, sorry we can just select it and use this asterisk sign so it will become default but let me go back and revert to the idea just save it the next thing is both both means if you're using match rule set for the searching means there are two ways we can use either match rule set or we can use the match columns if you use the match rule set and if you use the match type as both it uses all the match rules set within that or it uses all the match rules within the match rule set for example if you consider the wsh match rule set it has both auto as well as manual so it uses all the match rules within that match rule set to execute the uh, to execute the match rule the next is none if you use the match type none then the it will generate a dynamic rule set to search based on the match column. So what are the ma match column we are sending in the search match API? Using that, it generates a dynamic rule set and it executes it. So these are the three match rule set. These are the three match type. First is Atom, means it uses only Atom match rules. Both means it uses Atom as well as manual match rule set. And third, it is none. So it generates the match rule set dynamically. Let's go over the what are the required parameters. First required parameter is we have to pass match columns or records to match. So what are the match columns which are available inside the MDM hub? We can say in one of that or we can set the records to match. Next thing required is the package name or the base object as a Cyprian object UID. Third required parameter is match type. Just we saw there are three match types that is auto, both and none. So we have to set one of that. By default, the value is none. It's used when not specified in the request. That means the dynamic match rules, rules set will be get created. Optional parameters are include pending. If your response is supposed to include the pending records or the record which are in the pending state, then we can in include or we can set this include pending parameter sort criteria what kind of criteria do you want to use for the sorting purpose match rule set uid so as i said we can use the match rule set or the match column if you are not using the match columns and then if you are using the match rule set then the the behavior or the approach will be different parameters related to the paging so if you want to use the pagination then use this parameter these are the required and the optional parameters for the search match API. Sample code looks like this. We have to create a search match request object. On that request, you have to set the set records to return. It is required parameter. Suppose you want, you get the 100 record out of 100 record. You want to display only 10 records. You have to set that records to return. Then we have to set a request dot set Cyprian object UID as discussed in the required parameter. Here I'm setting the package name. Then the other parameter such as uh, what match column you are going to use. For example, you, here we have to set the fuzzy match column. So if you go into the match column, the fuzzy match key column is organization name. That's the reason we are setting here the organ field org name field equal to new field org name that org name we have to set some value if you see the this uh, org name even it is the displayed as org name the value contains the display name that means the actual column from the party table is a display name will be associated with the this fuzzy match key so that's the reason jenny terry it is the name set in this string for this fuzzy match key after setting that, we have to set the sort criteria. If you want to use the name as a dis, uh, in the de de descending order, we can set that. After setting this request, we have to use the Cyprian client and call the process method and send the request. It will give us a search match response. We can iterate that response and display the data to the caller. So let's go into the MDM, uh, go to the Eclipse and do this example. I have created one class the class name is search match api you can give any name to this class 
then we have created one private variable cyparent client and this cyparent client is get initialized uh, whenever we uh, whenever we run the program at the main, main in the main method we have created the cyparent client and it is picking the cyparent client from the pool and we are assigning that to the global variable cyparent client then we have created object for the search match api and calling the search customer uh, if if everything is successfully done we are releasing the object to the pool again okay so what this search customer is doing the search customer it is actually implementation of the search match api so here as we discussed we have to first create a request that is search match request set the records to return you can set what are the number your application is looking for then we have to set a package name i have set the package party as we discuss organization name is a fuzzy match key we have set that then the set string you can set what are the record you want to search add the match column what are the organization fuzzy match key we have added it as a match column then we can set the other attribute also like the person name we are setting the john like in this case in our mdm hub we have the so many columns so first the name is one of the column which is pointing to the display name as well so that's the reason we have the organization name and the person name as a John John. If you want to add any other attribute like the attribute two, we can add. But for now, we are not going to use. Then we have to set uh, the match rule set. This is the optional parameter. But if you use the match rule set, remember, if you use the match rule set, the match type either we can use the auto, both or the none. If you don't set any match type it sets by default as a none. So that means it generates a dynamic match rule. It is not populating step and the match table as well. So it generates and it is used during the runtime or the dynamic search. So in the request, we are setting the match rule set that is match rule set dot C party WS one which I already say, saw in the MDM hub. The request is ready. We are passing that request to the Cyparent client process method it will return a response from that response we are getting the tokens and we are doing the further processing from that response we are getting the count how many record got matched we also got the token means what are the record we are passing it will generate a token dynamically so we can capture that because this token is not maintained in the strip table so for the better analysis we can capture that so that is captured here and we have printed here the, the match token number of matches how many matches found for that record particularly the fuzzy matches the next thing if the match count that is number of matches is greater than zero then we are going to iterate uh we, what we are going to do so we will uh, what we create a gauge search result request it is one more api provided by the informatica we will set the search token in this token the record to return of course we can increase that and set first record as one those are the thing we are passing we will use the cyber uh, client process method and uh, send that request we just created it will get, uh, send us a response get search result response and we are iterating that response and getting the record and from that record we are returning the uh, various fields such as in this case we have just retired the display name you can retry the other fields also depending on the what package we have used and it will print that record so let me clear this um, read, uh, result uh, so these are the things we are need to set so first we need to create a cypern object then the call the search match API and from the search match API response we have to call the gate search result so it is kind of pagination if you the hundreds of record and if you want to retreat like the 10 records at a time you can do that here so by this way we are actually doing three steps first is creating cypher and client call the search match API and third is call the gate search result API so these are the details about the search match API. Let's run this program now. Right click, run as a Java application, and it will print the result. Now if you see the result, I can see the first thing it printed, it is MDM connection guard that is coming from the connection pool. 
then it printed the number of uh, match, uh, actually the match token which is we just captured here what is the match token because it is not maintained in the ORS next thing is how many matches we found that is coming from the count which is count is nothing but we got the response from the search match get records and the size it will return the what is the size how many record got matched and in the display name we are printing what are the record which are actually match found if you send the input as a join okay so we found the three record which are matched to the john like zimmerman john johnny russell and john sanchez so so these are the record which are actually match as for the fuzzy match rule and if you know we have used this match rule set and the match type is none which is default and that's why it is generated the dynamic matching so these are the details about the search match query or uh, search match api if you have any questions about CIF api or you want to learn more about the CIF api you can mention in the video below you can subscribe my channel for the more details and more interesting video about the informatica thank you for watching the video and have a nice time